And voila, we are done. No, no, it's not you. No, my camera cut off and I kept going and apparently I finished and you guys were not with me. So what I decided to do was go outside and get the other one that we made together. And I, I brought us up to that point. So I think we're at the same point. So I'm just gonna carry on right here as if we were all together. This is where we're headed, okay? So let's go ahead and just complete this little mission. All right. Oh, yes. Crafting is one thing, but being a videographer, that's a whole other story. Yep, I don't know about that world very much. Learning as I go. Okay. Alrighty there. All right, so now I have uh, that in place. Now what I would like to do is fill in the... Um, I'm going to put some... Where is it? I had everything because I did it. Okay, here it is. I'm going to use some... Uh, remember we made a spine. The spine is there. Reinforcing the spine is very important. I think that's what we were doing. We were reinforcing the spine. Reinforce. We're just like clarifying to this little book cover where its spine is. There you are. You have a spine. Okay. So now we're going to reinforce our spine. Although it truly doesn't need it because you do have fabric, you have paper, you have a uh, file folder. So there's three layers already. It's probably fine. It's not going to be the world's heaviest book. Uh, but let's say you want to make a bigger book or something, reinforce it with either, I would use Tyvek tape, which is a very strong tape, or in this case, masking tape will work just fine because it's not a super heavy project. And we're just looking for a little bit of reinforcement. That's all we need is a little reinforcement. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. So we'll put that there. Okay, got it. All right, there we go. So we have some uh, masking tape reinforcement there. Hard to see, but it's about that wide. Okay, and um, now what I want to do is cover the front and the back inside covers with something. And where's that paper? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Um, I have this piece of scrapbook paper that's, it's a 12 by 12, not really that excited about it, but I thought it would be awesome to use as a basement membrane. Um, I know, it's just flashbacks from biology class. A, um, so what I'm going to do, you can't see that. There. I'm going to put it where I want it, as if it was going to live here. I am going to cover this paper, so you're not going to see this paper. And I'm going to place it in this corner, exactly where I, how far I would like it from each, the top and the side. I'm going to look for my spine and see where it folds, the inside fold. Okay, and you can even fold your paper so you can kind of know. I want to be to the left of that somewhere. So let's say here. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good, Pam. Okay, let's back it up so everybody can see everything. I've got a little mark on the paper right there. What I'm going to do, I need two. I need this and the exact same size over here. So I'm just going to fold this back right on where that little mark is and line these up. If all goes well, line them up, Pam. And then fold. And by the magic of paper, everything should come out nicey nice. And uh, now I want to know how tall I want my little guy to be. So I'm going to put him here again. I'm going to find my magic pencil. I'm going to say, I want you to go here, there. So first thing we're going to do is cut that off. Well, let's go ahead and do that before my camera turns off again. Now I'm, I'm like camera paranoid. Don't turn off, don't turn off. All right, so you're not missing anything. You're going to see the exact same process. Cutting that off. Cutting this extra little piece off we don't need. And then what I'm going to do is I have a paper that opens up like a book. So I'm just going to get rid of the spine by shaving it off. Just a little hair. It's still being plenty long enough to do its job. Yeah, I've got all that garbage over there. Over there, over there. <laughs> How does everybody do this so neatly? I have no idea. Okay. So, hello. Hello. Now I am filming. <laughs> Just so you know. Was there success? Oh, okay. Okay, everybody. The dog pooped. <laughs> That's the big news. Uh, it is very exciting because he had surgery yesterday. So, we're very happy. We are happy little camper clampers. Okay, so now I'm just looking for a, a larger size book page, maybe, oh, I don't know, something. 
maybe like the American Robin. He, he's, oh, here, let me put his little cone, cone of shame back on. Here you go, Hassan. Cone of shame. I know, I know, I know. All right, it's on. He's fine, everybody. It's okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, he'll be in the view. Okay, maybe I have two of these. This might work out very nicely. Okay, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put all these over here, over here. I'll grab those two. I had two. Uh, 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 here it is. Okay. So, let's see. Will you cover? Yes, you will. Okay, so we'll have a nice birdie on either side. So I think I'm going to put the white here. Yes, because it's going to show through. It'll be less busy noise behind this, even though I th think this paper is thick enough. It wouldn't show through, but just in case. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. And this comes together relatively quickly at this point. It's quite exciting. So hold on to your hoppers. Just make sure that you have enough, maybe at least a half an inch all the way around so that you can fold it um, back upon itself to do the little um, bedding tuck. I call it the bedding tuck. It's just like doing your four corners. You got to get your four corners in. And then you can just fold it on up. You can do the quickie snip there if you want, but I don't really find it necessary. Probably nine times out of ten. But, um, and some people are very, um, you know, they're adamant about it, so I don't want to get touch on anybody's toes, but feel, feel free, feel free, have at it. <laughs> it's okay. All right, and then we're going to go around the world, around the world, and we're back home again, and then we're just going to do the same little fold a roux, fold a roux. Mm hmm fold a roux. Okay, same thing here, fold a roux. And here, fold a roux. Everybody, come on, fold, 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 fold. Yep, pretend, play nice now. Okay. And we got done. 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 Okay. And then this one. In the center, go across. Everybody's, oh, y'all played nice on this side. Don't you give me all sorts of problems on the other side. That's okay. Um, so you really don't need a fat piece of paper there because what we are working with here is pretty fat already. So we are good to go. And let's just repeat that little process to do one for the back. Okay, I think we like this little American Robin. He's very cute. You're going to go there. Wait a minute, no, you're going to go there and then it's going to go like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue the white on here. Okay. What's that, Sunny? I look like I'm back in regular crafting form now that I came out of helicopter mom status. Yeah, you're going to be okay and mom can breathe again? Okay, that's good. Phew! Yeah, my little gimper boo. My little gimper boo. I'm afraid to move the camera because it might turn off, so we'll get you at the end, bud. We'll get you at the end. I'm going to say hello, hello in your cone of shame. <laughs> okay. All right. There, eight minutes in. I'll probably do this within a few minutes. Just getting this little corners, bed bed corners, and then we're going to go around the world. Very int simple concept. You can use this so many ways in your junk journals. It's a great way to uh, complete the um, inner panels. There's many ways to do it, but this is just one. And it's a very reliable, handy one. It gives you that little bit of extra strength and a little bit of extra girth. If your junk journal cover needs that, then it's great. Okay. That. Okay. And the last one. Okay. Now, for those of you who are so inclined, and if you are so inclined, then follow along, but I am going to ink these. Yes. And I'm today using walnut stain. Yes, good old walnut stain. A nice dark brown. Very user-friendly. Very satisfying. It, uh, distributes the color well. And uh, you okay, Marie? Nope. Oh, she went back outside. I guess that means yes. All right, you know, she's so happy to be here. It's cold in Germany and uh, it's warm here, so she's loving it. Nope, she's in the kitchen, honking around. She's just ignoring me. She doesn't realize I'm talking to her. 
uh, she primarily speaks German, so but she does very well with her English, way better than I do in my German. Mm-hmm. Which is quite amazing that way. Um, okay. So, I wish the other birdie was facing the other way, but now, well, you know, we get what we get. Okay, maybe put you and you there. Okay, but then what I did was I decided to get all honky town fancy pants and pull in the sewing machine. This is not necessary. You can totally just glue these in place. Okay, I would just go around with the back with some fiber fabric fix, but I wanted a little fancy edge. And since I'm here, let's see. Okay, that and the foot pedal. I've got it on a zigzag. And I'm running around. Alrighty. And this is another episode of the world's worst sewer. Is sewing paper and glue together that's not really dry at the same time. Probably gonna get all glue all over her needle, but she's gonna wipe it off with acetone as long as the paper hasn't already wiped it off. Which I'm sure is breaking all the rules. Oh yeah, figures. I ran out of a bobbin. You know. Right in the middle of everything. Yeah, how's that happen? Where's the bobbin? I'll take any bobbin at this point. Just give me a bobbin. Green? Okay, sure. All right, here I am, reloading the bobbin. I'm so much better at this now. Oh, this is thicker though. I hope that's not a problem. Oh, it's probably a problem. Oh well, let's just hope it works. Yep. Oh no, I hear you. I hear you. Okay, carry on where we were. Lift it up, back in place, go. Are we going? I never know until I turn the corner. Is it working? Is it working? Um, yeah, I think it's working. I need a little trim there, though. For some reason, it's all bunching on me. I never know why that happens. Does anybody know why that happens? Somebody knows why that happens. It's probably good, like a tension thing or something, right? They get the tension wrong. <sighs> These things need to be plug and play. You know what I mean? Just plug and play. Okay, there's one. Looking very cute, right? Okay, so we'll just do that with the other one. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Okay, and we're ready, and we're rocking. We're rocking this robin. And we go. And don't choke on me, string. You just keep going. Uh oh, what's going on? Something's flashing. I don't know what that means. Probably something bad. Camera? Oh, maybe it just means I'm recording. Is that what that means? Why don't I know that? I don't know. I'm, I'm very wary of my camera now just turning off on me. I missed half of it. I'll go back and get it. It's a good idea to keep an eye on. It's a good idea to keep your eye on what you're doing when you're sewing, because straight lines come out so much straighter when you're paying attention. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, here we go. That that doesn't need to be there. Just give this one little run because I missed it completely. Obviously, not paying attention. Yeah, I would totally f fail, Homac. Oh, I would be the kid with the dunce cap in the corner. Like I, I failed apron. Yeah, I was trying to make an apron. It was like, um, no. <laughs> I don't know. My teacher looks so dismayed. She's like, you're going to make the worst housewife ever. Okay. So I, I, I was. <laughs> I became the worst housewife ever. Okay. I guess you're going to be going this way. So now we're motoring along. We're placing it. Oh, but if you want a pretty here, what I decided to do before this thing blinks off on me. Um, manum, manum, I decided to honor the original paper or the original fabric that I used by putting a strip of that down the center. Close your ink. Okay, so we can glue this on quickly. Let's see, we need it to be wider than whatever you're trying to cover. Mm -hmm. That's my best way to describe it. It'll make sure it's longer than you need. Okay, I think that's longer than I need. Oh boy, I hope that's the right length. So I already cut it. Yeah, I think we can work with that. Okay, good. All right, so now, 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 I'm so far away. Do I need to be that far away? Not really. Okay, there we go. Let me just put some glue down on this. And you could use anything to glue here. Oh, I think I, I used glue stick. Never mind. Let me grab my glue stick. I used Scotch Create glue stick, not sponsored, just like the glue. Um, just came in here because you can do lightweight fabric things. Um, not obviously not washable stuff, but uh, yeah, if you're just like gluing down something that's going to be anchored down by the signatures anyway totally do this okay the wrinkle the wrinkle out and strings everywhere but that's okay and uh that string stuck to my fingers like there's no tomorrow okay so now if you want to tack down these little ends that didn't get it go glue right on the thing you're trying to glue and not the paper below it because then your glue will only go as far as you want it to it's kind of one of those little 
tips and tricks. It's just good to know. Once you know it, you, it just becomes second second habit. Um, okay, so the green-tailed horned swallow, whatever you are, and the American robin. Well, we will put you down now. Um, glue you down. I'll put you down. Sorry, Sonny. Those are those are fighting words around here. <laughs> Don't say that with the dog in the room. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Put this. Yeah. I'm never going back to. I know. I know. They were all very nice, but no, <laughs> I know I could hear it. Oh, I've been hearing it all night. Let me tell you, it was like, I can't believe you took me there again. I thought the first time I was home free, and then we went back the next day, and then everything went dark. Yeah, yeah. Well, but I came and got you, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just remember that. Remember that in your will. <laughs> Who was there? <laughs> All right, and we have now made a book cover officially, and it is basically waterproof. It feels like pleather, I would say, and uh, I can come trim all this this off. But you can do you can put sticker. What I had a sticker. Where was it? Oh, just get another one down. You'll never find that one. Okay, what is this? Yeah, a nice little rabbit. Put a nice little rabbit right there, and you could just glue the rabbit down. Um, you could stitch the rabbit on. You could um, glue it and then. Mod Podge over it if you want, uh, but I'm just trying to give you ideas that you could amplify what you've done from this point, or you could decorate before you put your final Mod Podge on. Can't remember if I said this before, but if you're going to have your plain paper down and then decorate with stamps, inks, and stuff like that, make sure you use um, non water soluble inks like the uh, um, archival inks. Uh, stays on stuff like that so that when you put the Mod Podge which has a lot of water and you're brushing it You just don't wipe away your your stamps um, But if it does happen remember you can always cover it up. So there you go. We have it. It is done. Yay Where's the other one? I don't know. Here it is. All right uh, So we have completed two of these very uh, quickly and easily. They are very fun um, Kind of a nice thing to have in your back pocket um, This would actually uh, this you know if you made a small one it would easily slip in and out of the back pocket because of its very nice uh, um, Pleather feeling yes gosh gotta love pleather boy <laughs> that's dating me um, So there you go folks. So let's see if we can say a quick hi to Sunbun. Sunny do you have anything to say to everyone?